Okay, it's Go Go Media Girl, and I'm at YFM Radio Station with Kutsa. Yes. Um, so, what do you do at the radio station? Okay, so what I do is co host a breakfast show, and I read traffic as well. Uh, it's a show called Flavor in the Morning from 6 to 9 every morning. Um, and I also do voiceover recordings. So, I do um, a thing called YFM Gig Guide, where I announce where the DJs will be during the weekend, YFM DJs. And then I also announce announce um, we've got a thing called live and rewired here at YFM where people do live performances so I do the announcement to tell people where it's going to be who's going to be performing and that's my role at YFM cool. mm -hmm. so what's what do you if like anybody was doing this what do you think the most fun part would be about <sighs> I think the most fun part is definitely getting free stuff. You always get free stuff, especially breakfast. So people will come and drop off coffee and um, they'll also drop off, you know, some, some caps and anything that they feel they'll get publicity from, from our show. Another thing is also being invited to exclusive parties. That's one big thing. I mean, two chains came. So um, we got the opportunity to meet him. Snoop Dogg came to the country. We got an amazing trip from KZN and MTV to go through and watch him perform so that was awesome yeah, yeah. Cool. um so like what are the skills that you need when you're doing your job? Most important skills. Okay, most important skills I think you should have is definitely being able to speak well, to be able to announce things or pronounce things rather. And also, um, you should know how to read a lot. Um, when I first came here, I wasn't really into reading, like, you know, newspapers and going on to the internet. But we've got this awesome producer. His name is Gugrano. I think you interviewed him. His name is Cooks. He taught me that I need to know everything in terms of the world what's happening here in South Africa, what's happening in America. So you definitely have to know um, your information and also being able to speak well and to relate to people. If you can't relate to people, then you definitely shouldn't be in radio or the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. How did you practice speaking? Okay. Yeah. Okay, funny enough, um, the way I practiced how to speak was um, I had a lisp growing up. I had bad teeth, such bad teeth. So I did speech therapy for nine years, and they taught me how to pronounce words, how to speak, and um, um, be able to make sure people understand what I'm saying. So I think that's where I learned how to speak with speech therapy. Apart from that, going to school, um, I went to a very amazing school, like a private school that taught me how to speak English properly. Um, to speak on radio, I think that comes naturally. If you can't speak properly like this, then you shouldn't get into radio. Um, I think also voice training helps a lot as well. If you'd like to go into voiceovers, um, they teach you how to um, emphasize on certain words or just learn how to speak naturally. So that's how I learned how to speak. It was speech therapy that helped me a lot. Yeah. Um, so any tips if somebody wanted to um, do what you're doing? Um, what would your tips be? Okay. So if anyone that wants to do radio, um, at this point, I co-host and read traffic, so it's not a big thing. We've got a guy called Mo Flavor who hosts the show, so that's my dream. I want someone to advise me how to do that, how to run an o their own show. But um, my tip would definitely be go for your dreams. Um, if you feel like you're good at something, work on that talent. And also, um, I also do spinning. Now, that's a male-dominated uh, industry. I spin cars, and I wasn't afraid to do something like that because if you believe in your dreams, and you believe you can do something, what's stopping you from doing it? I mean, you here in South Africa, you're interviewing me, you probably don't even know who I am, but you're doing it because you're interested to know what I do. And if you want to get into the industry, I tell you that you should because you seem very well-spoken. You're not afraid of anything. You need confidence. Um, you need to know what you're talking about, even if it means faking it until you make it. Um, but always be true to yourself. Um, always have the humility. Don't be too fake. Um, appreciate where you come from. Never forget where you come from. And trust me, that is one tip that I'll give to any young person. 
So what's spinning cars? Okay, so spinning cars, I don't know if you know a Gusheshe. Do you know what that is? No. Okay, Gusheshe is like a BMW. It's a 325 BMW, an old, and they call it a matchbox. Um, and what we do, we get into those cars, and we literally spin the cars in donuts. So we don't, uh, like, race or drag racing or drifting. I don't know if you watched uh, Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. Have you seen that movie? Where they like spin cars on the edge of like a bridge or, you know? Never. I have that movie. You have that movie, right? That. You have that? Yeah. Okay, cool. But so. I haven't seen it. Yes, it should watch it. So, what I do is basically spin the car round and round and round. And I'm one of South Africa's first qualified spinners. I've got a license. I'll show you my license. And um, it's a hobby, it's not a profession. I'm not a professional spinner, but it's one hobby that I love doing. So, it's just about cars fast cars and uh, spinning around and around and around. <laughs> you get like dizzy and yeah. then nauseous. <laughs> you get nauseous and dizzy, but I think it's uh, the excitement that makes it even better. You know, you're so excited that guys are even saying, wow, there's a girl doing something that only guys do. So that's awesome. Yeah. And do they, um, like when you do, so when you work with guys mm -hmm. spinning cars or working in the radio station, mm -hmm. um, is it like a challenge because you're a girl doing it? Um, that was something that I thought I'd have a problem with, but I've been with boys all my life. My best friend was my brother growing up. I was always with him, so I was a bit of a tomboy until I got to Joburg. So I'm from this town, or rather province, called Mpumalanga, and we are so boyish there. When we came to Joburg, me and my sisters, we saw the fashion here and we're like, oh my gosh. We were wearing hoodies, we were wearing track pants, and everyone was like, ah. Then I decided to change my style. And I realized being around guys, you don't really have to impress guys, you know what I mean? Um, um, and it gave me more of that, um, hey, let me, let me prove to these guys what I'm worth. And I work with four guys in the morning, Kukrano, Super Dave, Mo Flavor, and Sol Penduga. They already had that, um, that, that boyish vibe to me, and I always have to remember that I am a girl, you know? Um, but again, I was, I, was, I was a tomboy, so being with the guys is nothing different. My best friends are guys. I've got one best girlfriend. Um, so being in a male-dominated industry in terms of spinning, it's the best because you get more attention. Because they're like, oh, man, no, only guys do this. And I'm like, no, girls can do it too, you know? So I'm proving them wrong, girl power. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I was here with what's your name? Cooks. Uh, Cooks. <laughs> um. Yeah. Um. Go go media girl. Yeah. <laughs>